Hi friends, welcome to Time Python series. In this video, we are going to talk about some of the issues we can face while using the docs to PDF Python module to convert Word files to PDF files. You can see I have already created a blog post on automating Word files to PDF files using docs to PDF Python module. And I have also created a video on it. You can check the video link in the description of this video. But in this video, we are going to talk about some of the issues you are going to face while using the docs to PDF Python module. The first issue which I want to stress upon is Docs to PDF requires Microsoft Word to be installed in your computer. That means if Microsoft Word is not installed on your computer or you're using a Linux server or Linux machine, then you can't use Docs to PDF. And one more thing you have to note is if you specify the PDF file name only, then in your Windows machine, the PDF file will be saved in the default documents location instead of the folder containing the Python file. This might be an undesired behavior. So let me try to demonstrate how it looks like. I'm going to take a blank folder and I'm going to open it with VS Code and I'm going to create a new file, I'll just name it index.py and here I'm going to copy paste the code which actually converts a simple word file to PDF file I'll just copy this code and paste it here and this docs to PDF module actually converts this abcd.docs since I don't have abcd.docs in this folder I'll just create a new file, I'll just create a new word document and I'll just name it abcd.docs I'll just write some test content to prove that it's actually working so I'll just write some text content and close the file now I want abcd.docs to be converted to a PDF file. So I'll just run this. And now you can see I've got an abcd.pdf. This is an expected behavior. But if I mention a file name like abcd.pdf, then it will not be saved in this location. It will be saved in the documents location. So I'll just copy this. I mean, I'll just delete this file. And now if I just run this, you can't see abcd.pdf here. You'll be seeing abcd.pdf in the default document saving location, which is the my documents. So if I just go to the file explorer and open my documents page, here you can see I've got my abcd.pdf just converted now. So in order to eliminate this behavior, make sure you actually mention the path of the PDF along with the folder. So if I write the folder name here, so if I just create a folder here, something like out, and if I just say out slash, this is a relative path, so relative paths are accepted. If I just write out slash abcd.pdf, you will be seeing abcd.pdf in this out folder as a desired behavior. So you can see I've got my abcd.pdf in an expected location. And if you want the abcd.pdf to be saved in the same folder as the index.py or the Python file running this docs to pdf script, you just can write the path here directly. So if I just copy the path of my python script so if i just copy this and paste this and since i'm using backsla backslashes i'm going to use the raw string notation so i'm specifying the path of the pdf completely i should be able to actually create the pdf file in the same folder as the python script so if i just run this here you can see i've got my abcd.pdf in the desired location by specifying the whole path of the pdf file so next time while you mention the pdf file name make sure you give the path of the folder also to get expected behavior and the next issue we're going to talk about is a little bit complicated and this issue occurs when you're actually packaging your script which uses docs to pdf and you're converting it to an exe file using the py installer module if you don't know what py installer module is i have already created a blog post and video on that i will give the link of that in the description of this video you can go check out how to use py installer to convert a python file to an exe file but while using py installer to convert a python file to exe file which uses docs to pdf module you may get an error like import package not found error something like this so i'm going to just show you how to resolve that error so to demonstrate the error i'll just convert this docs to pdf script into an exe file using the py installer i'm going to just save this and i'm going to open a command prompt and I'll write py installer index.py. So py installer will convert this index.py into an exe file. So it's running now. And I got this folder where the index.exe is going to be created. So it's still running. Let's see what happens. All right, my py installer has successfully created the exe file in the dist folder. You can see I've got the dist index and inside the index, I've got a file called index.exe. So I'm going to open this folder now. I'm going to just open this folder here. And here I got my index.exe. So I'm going to just run this from a command prompt in this folder so i'll just write index.exe and here i got an error called package not found error docs to pdf even though our code is working fine while running directly with python once the code is bundled to an exe file using pine so it's not running fine i'm i'm getting this error called package not found error so in order to resolve this error you have to go to the main docs to pdf python file and change some lines in that so what you have to do is you have to go to the line 119 and remove this line you have to go to lines 17 to 13 and remove these lines 
so i personally don't want to change my global python libraries so i will create a virtual environment and do this fix there i'm going to create a virtual environment and modify the docs to pdf module in that virtual environment so let me try to create a virtual environment first so i'll just write python minus m v n and here i'm going to write project underscore n so this is my name of the virtual environment so i'll just create a virtual environment called project underscore n you can see i got a virtual environment created in my workspace so i'm going to close my terminal and i'm going to open it again by default vs code has activated my virtual environment and now i'll just pip install my required libraries in my case i will pip install py installer because i need to package my code and i need docs to pdf because i want to convert my pdf files so i'm installing the py installer and docs to pdf they are installing in my virtual environment. All right, I got my py installer and docs to PDF installed in my virtual environment. If you want to see what are the packages installed, you can just write python minus pip list. And here you can see I got my py installer and docs to PDF installed in my virtual environment. And now let's try to modify the docs to PDF to make it work as an exe file. So to, in order to modify the docs to PDF Python library, I'll just go to the project library, lib, and here in the site packages, I'll have the docs to pdf and i'm going to open the underscore underscore init.py and here i'll just find the line 119 and i'm going to cut this save this and i'm going to find the line 17 to 13 and i'm going to cut this so basically i have changed the docs to pdf library because this actually causes the import package error in the py installer installation so i just i just modified my points docs to pdf library and then now i will once again package my code as an exe file using the py installer so i'll just write py installer index.py this time docs to pdf present in a virtual environment is being used and it's being packaged as an executable file all right now i've got a new installation and i've got a new index.exe so let me go to the folder dist index and here i've got my index.exe which is modified now so i'm going to open the command prompt here now and then here i'm going to write index.exe here now I've ran into a new error where it is telling that python com isn't frozen in syspath. So basically I've resolved my error which was the import error because I've modified the docs to pdf library itself in my virtual environment but I'm presented with a new error which is python com module isn't frozen and some error something like that. Upon searching on the internet I found the fix for this error also it is due to the incompatibility of 32 bit and 64 bit architectures. So if you face error something like this you can change your py installer pywin32 and docs to pdf versions to these versions and then your code should run fine so i'm gonna go to my virtual environment and now in my virtual environment i will change the modules version numbers so here i'm gonna write python minus m pip install docs to pdf and the version should be 0.1.7 let's go and copy this and write and i'm gonna save this and then i'm gonna use this py installer 4.3 i'm just gonna copy this and write python minus m pip install py install equal to 4.3 and then i'm going to use this pywin32 also i'm just going to copy this and just write python minus m pip install pywin32302 so now i got my new versions in order to solve this error python com error so i'm going to package my code once again so i'm just going to write py installer index.py so I am packaging my index.py again. Alright, now my index.exe is updated. So I am going to open the command prompt in this index file folder again. And I am just going to run index.exe. This time, it's just I don't find abcd.docs. So if I just write abcd.docs here, I am just going to copy this and paste abcd.docs in this folder. I should be good to go. So I will just write index.exe. And here you can see we have successfully created abcd.pdf in the same folder. So now that means our index.exe is working. And if I want, I can even convert the index.exe in a single file instead of making this whole file with all other Python compiled files. I can just write py installer index.py and write minus minus one file so that it can be converted into a single file. I'll just write py installer minus minus one file and I'll write index.py yeah so i've got a single index.exe and now you can ignore this index folder and you can just run the single file to run your script so i'm just going to copy this abcd.docs into this folder and now let me try to run index.exe in this folder i'll just write index.exe 
and here you can see just a single exe file is using docs to pdf module under the hood and converting this document file to a pdf file so here in my blog post i have already mentioned the issues while packaging the code to exe using pyinstaller i have mentioned the two issues which i have mentioned in this video so you can go through how to fix those errors here so this video majorly covers the issues while using pyinstaller and docs to pdf there is a very fair chance that you might come across these two issues while packaging your code to a exe file using pyinstaller that actually uses docs to pdf module so that's why i made this video so that people can easily find the fixes for using pyinstaller along with docs to pdf hope you like this video guys thank you for watching